Ooh, what is up, you guys? Then, of course, as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle, which is really the scavenger. And today we have another PU game, of course, versus Asimo, and his team is very cool. We have Kumala, Elektavar, Lurantis, Swubat, Mudstail, and Type Null. Uh, so, at it, you know, we see the obvious thing here. We have Electric Rain, we have Swubat, with most likely a Red Electric Seed due to Simple. This is a very tough combination, I really have to keep my head in the game to be able to avoid a very tough situation. I myself is using probably one of the most broken Pokemon in the PU, so I tried to use Pokemon that aren't as broken in PU to kind of remedy that. Uh, so I have Silvalley, Silvalley, damage, Silvalley Water. That's a very tough thing to say fast. Um, it's not the broken stuff, clearly the Absol later down the line is broken one. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, Silver Water, really cool, you know, the Surf, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam with Potting Shot. Cover the words actually, does do for a decent um, water type actually, but also a fairly decent electric type when I capitalize on that with the same moveset, it's very good. Uh, do we with a Scarf Komala, because Komala is actually fairly offensive, 115 attack. Yeah, you know, use that Scarf, I really want to try it out, I've seen somebody else named Caddy use that, and I really want to try to use my own variant of it. We also have, of course, Manetric, which is probably one of the worst electric types of the tier. Actually, right now at least. Uh, we have Aggron, the self rock variant defensive, uh, and of course Absol, the broken one with life orb. That thing gotta go. And we have Lelontis on his own, though a defog variant, I really hope his one is the same one, because if it's the Fire MC variant, then we are in trouble. So yeah, with all this in mind, let's of course go into the match. So I myself start off with Silvalli, I felt that, you know, he has nothing that really outspeeds it, the only thing that does is Electivire if it is Scarfed. So I'm gonna do the easy thing here and go for a potting shot. He leads off with the Kamala, which I thought was strange. I was thinking whether or not, you know, he probably would bring the aggro, making sure that he can quake me and rapid spin away the rocks. So I'm gonna bring Baltis, which of course is my own Kamala, as um, we gonna see Rest or Sleep Talk. So Sleep Talk worked together with uh, the Comatose, that's awesome. So it goes for Sword Stance, which is scary, most certainly. And I think it's Choice Bandit Sleep Talk. Uh, I myself, I go for a Return to Scarf variant, and it does a fair amount of damage. As it goes for Sleep Talk again, luckily for me, he gets another Sword Stance. So the Choice Bandit Kamala did not pay off, luckily for us, most certainly, as I can just finish off this Kamala. So from the get-go, we have a decent lead here, and you know, we can set up rocks now without need to worry. Then again, his team is not necessarily work or that weak to rocks in the first place. So he's gonna bring Type Null. Type Null is a defensive beast. It's very, very defensive. Same level as Porygon 2. So with that said, I decided to switch out as he of course goes to Sword Stand. So I was thinking, okay, it's still quite right. Shadow Claw is usually the filler moves. As we see Substitute, that's okay. Um, I go for Toxic here, which definitely was the worst of the options here. As it goes for Shadow Claw, and as you guys will see, a defensive aggron does take defense physical hits fairly alright. Even at plus two, we can still sponge that. And we go for the head smash, it breaks the sub, and quite frankly, it will do roughly 30% of his damage. I need to connect it, quite frankly, but besides, you know, he over Sword Stance, he really has no options of recovery. So it's a definitely a big risk for him to stand in as he realized that and switched out to Mudstail. Now, Mudstill is a defensive monster. Everybody knows that. Head Smash is, of course, a resisted hit. But look at this. Yum. That's a lot of damage. Even though the stamina kicks in, you know, we do 20% resisted hits. Sure, call it what you like. I am already made up my mind. Now, clearly, I can't take an earthquake. And Lorontis is definitely my switch in here. But I decided that it could be very risky if I did that. So I decided to actually go to Garuga. Which is, I was basically hoping for a heavy slam. He goes for close combat. Um, luckily for us here, we do, it's some kind of a decent spot here. So let's just switch out. I actually decided to go for an ice beam here. I knew potting shot would be too obvious. And I will not, I will not activate his, uh, his, what do you call it? Contrary ability at all. As ice beam does a bit over half. So we are in a range where I think another ice beam will secure a KO. Which luckily for us it is, and we KO his own Lurante, which means that we can parting shot for free now. So I, you know, I have my head in the game here. Uh, he brings the Yeti. Now, as of now, I'm right now just gonna gamble it and go for a parting shot. I've, I've kind of figured that I don't want anything else to take damage from this Pokemon. If I pull off a parting shot, it's going to be heavily willed down naturally. So I'm gonna go to Baltus, uh, hoping he goes for um, actually a wild charge or you know, anything really. As it goes for Electric Train, here's where like, okay, okay. I, I see what could happen now. I'm going to go for return here. 
I really, really just need to get the damage going on as it brings in type null, which is better, I think. Um, primarily because we do get the damage onto it. And you see here, return does so much. It's, you know, it's, mmm, Kamala is so strong. As they retaliate with the frustration, which also does a decent chunk, since we're not defensive at all, but we really are able to pick up the type null, which usually are very, very tough to be dealing with. That 115 attack, yeah, that's that's messed up. As you know, we waste his electric terrain turns, and I know already that it's not Scarf, so I just go for the easy return already, and it does a really, really big chunk onto him as a retaliate with a nice punch that's going to easily KO, of course. But as of right now, we, we we're good. We're good. He, and he needs the rain to make the, sw the swoop at working, so with that in mind, I decided to bring in Virus Permanent Trick, knowing that he probably needs to sack this Pokemon if he don't want to capitalize on it, as it goes to Mudstail. Now, Mudstail, it's okay. It's definitely okay. We go for the overheat, you know, we definitely know now already that this is an Assault Vest variant for sure. Um, there is no way it would take it that, that well. And my biggest gripe here is that, yes, I have a switch in, in my Lurontis, uh, he can't force switch his Pokemon at all. He definitely need to get that, um, what do you call it, uh, the electric train going on. I kind of realized that. So my biggest gripe here versus this matchup was whether or not I tried to KO him or not. As I go for Leaf Storm, it's not going to KO due to him being a Salt Vest, though it's pretty close. But I stated, Lurantis is defensive, which means that it won't be able to KO. And we will see him go for Heavy Slam. I mean, rather that than a close combat. But it does a very big amount of damage due to that crit. And um, all I was thinking here is, I can't KO this Pokemon. I'll go for Zentesis. I want to see if he keeps going for Heavy Slam trying to KO me. But I myself, I can't take that risk. Because if it gets the rain up, I don't know whether or not I can deal with Swoobat at all. Even though you know, a Sucker Punch might resolve it, it's a too big of an issue as of this point. So I go for synthesis yet again, just want to see if it keeps going for the Heavy Slam. So here's where I realize that, okay, this means that if I bring my Sil Valley, I will be able to outspeed him, and or at least, you know, have the speed tie with him. That will probably be my biggest chance of pulling this matchup off without him setting up terrain. And he keeps going for Heavy Slam, which is what I want to see, which is a weaker move here with close combat. So I switch into my Garuga, fully aware of that, or hoping that it goes for Heavy Slam, which it does. It's not going to do anything, or, you know, it does something, but quite frankly, it's not enough. And I can easily here go for a serve. Now I do outspeed everything. Um, and that's the most important part. I do outspeed everything he's left, which is a Swoobat. Or I don't outspeed uh, Swoobat, but I can capitalize on it. As he brings in Apacho, I'm pretty sure this is a sword part variant. As he goes for Call Mind, trying to set up without the terrain, and that works in our favor. He tries to sponge my potting sh or my ice beam, but quite frankly, I have potting shot, which means I will lower his stage in his special attack and attack by two, making his store power useless. And this also means that Ison, my Absol, is now very, very capable of wrapping the game up. And quite frankly, I don't blame my opponent for that play. I think it was a very, very good play. It was probably the ideal series of plays, but sadly, I got the upper hand here and was able to nullify his sweep against me and that was a very very good play of series of plays that he made but i saw what he was trying to do and i tried to parry it as good as i can and eventually we came through winning this battle while it is a 5-0 trust me we have no pokemon that deals well with this pokemon at all so i barely scraped a win here even though i have a lot of remaining pokemon left there were no pokemon out speeding them let's face it that this swoop at and i would eventually lose due to that very reason alone so thank you, Asimo, for that awesome match. It definitely, like I said, it came down to the wire. And it also kind of states, you know, while Absol didn't play a primal role here, it is a Pokemon that I generally believe is broken for the tier. And while I am trying to use it with Pokemon that maybe are not as broken, I still feel kind of shitty for using it. Uh, but yeah, this team works very well, you know, very easy to pressure po Pokemon with this team combination, though it's not ideal and I realize that missing a poison type could backfire on me uh, Primarily because fighting damage. I mean it hits super effectively on three of my mons. Yeah, that's That's dangerous right here when you don't resist the hits either. So yeah, with that said guys always thank you for watching And thank you as much as stated for the battle itself really cool team you had there uh, I am all about the choice bandit Kumola uh, Sleep talk. Yes, please
So, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. And make sure to follow me on Twitter down below if you want to battle me. Of course, the Discord group is down below for the very same reason. If you want to do the same thing, battle the master, the beast, the monster that is, well, me. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, guys, as always, I'll see you next video. And thank you for watching. And of course, if you want to battle me on the comment section, pussies. So I don't know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Solid.